I saw this picture flying all over the internet and I got interested as the face is familiar our super talented Bimbo Ademoye. So I did my findings and got to know that the movie is Aniku Lapo. Well, here's what I think. But before that, let's go through the movie briefly. If you watch to the end, I'll be revealing a website where I download binge-worthy Netflix Nigerian movies and even Hollywood movies as soon as they are released. Now the movie Anikulapo has a lot of powerful actors and actresses. Do you want to talk of Shola Shobowale or Kule Remy who was the Saru or you know Pimbo Ademoye as Queen Aralake? And even a Hollywood Nigerian actor who is Hakim Kai Kazim. The story is all about Saru. Saru is a cloth weaver who was looking for opportunities and he came to the Oyo Empire where he met Awarun. And Awarun is a businesswoman, wealthy, she's into ceramics business. Though the business requires hard work, and when she and Saru met, she asked him what he was doing here and he told her his reason for coming and she offered him a job little did saru know that this woman was salivating over his looks how was saru saru was tall he was handsome he was gallant and lanky should i say lanky yeah she quickly offered him a job and advised him why don't you do this work i know it's hard work but with time you raise money and you start your weaving business he went ahead and took the job. One day at night, the woman came on onto him. And Saru, he took the opportunity. After all, she was beautiful. She was much older than him. But she was wealthy. She gave him the life he has. And after they started an affair, she made him really comfortable, giving him a house and all that. Now, Saru never knew that Awarun had other men in her life. The day he got to find out, he was raging and he was really angry and when he asked her what was her response she insulted him yes she told him you have no right to ask me what i do with my life i can have as many men as i want meanwhile before sarah went into a relationship with this woman one advised him this woman eats women and spill them out he was like what do you mean say i'm advising you do not go into this this affair you are doing with this woman stop it but he took it the wrong way and you know scorned the man who advised him so while he continued the relationship and he found out that she had other men in her life when she quarreled him he got angry and when she came to beg him she awarded him a contract a contract to weave for the palace on going to the palace and all of them started choosing when it was time for the junior queen the king had several wives, but the junior queen was there. And when she came out, it was like the world stopped. He had seen a beautiful damsel. He paused and kept looking. And somehow, they connected. Does love at first sight exist? Well, they connected. And when he was on his way home, the queen accosted him. And of course, he had fallen for her already, even on seeing her. He had his way with her. And they started something. Why? This queen Arola Ked that started an affair with Saru was married off to the king at a very tender age. And since then, he, she became the king's favorite queen. The time the king should spend with his other wives, he spent it with Arola Ked. Of course, she was so beautiful. She was a damsel to behold. But one problem was that she couldn't have a child. Now the other wives had children. And of course, they scorned her. They hated her because the king loved her more than them. Now, when Awarun got to know that Saru was having an affair with the king's wife, she warned him, don't do this thing you're trying to do. Stop it, whatever you're doing there. Saru did not take the advice. So one day, the queen Aralake was talking with Saru and she told him her story of how she was you know, given to the king as a wife at a tender age. And then she suggested, Saru, let us run away from here. Let us go far away. And somehow Saru agreed to run away with Arulake. Someone heard about it and told the king. And then the king sentenced Saru to death. Now, Saru was killed. 
as it was according to the movie in Yoruba custom then when people die the Akala bird I hope I'm pronouncing it well the Akala bird will come and ask the, it will wake the dead body and ask him why were you why did you die what was your cause of death and if the reason was good enough the, the bird will allow the person to remain dead or will bring the person back to life if the person should not be dead. Arulake was in hiding when Saru was killed and she came to the dead body and was crying, Saru please get up. She was heartbroken. Everything, all the plans had fallen apart. She was begging him, please stand up. And when she heard the sound of the Akala bread coming, she hid. And when the bread came and was questioning Saru, while the bread brought the power to raise Saru back up, she came and she used something to hit the bird. And the bird shouted, ah! and the bird flew away. The little tiny calabash with the power was left down. So she carried it quickly and, and hid it and carried Saru and walked away. Now she had the power of life in her hands. She never revealed it to Saru that she had the power when they kept moving. When they got to a new town, the child of the person who led them to the town was dead. And the person was crying. And Naralake called Saru and said, take this thing. Go and raise the dead. Now we, can, we have the chance to be famous. He said, what is this? She said, I didn't tell you about this, but this is what I used to save your life. And that was how he took it. And when he placed it on the forehead of the boy that was dead, the boy, the boy awoke. Of course, he became a celebrity. Everybody healed him. They started a new gift to him. The next thing the king asked him, is it true that you have the power to raise the dead? He said, no, my name is Saru. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a resurrector. But... The power to raise the dead is a secret power given to me. Yes, I can raise anybody that is dead. And that was how the king gave him a place to stay. A very good place to stay. They were happy that they've got someone who could raise the dead in their midst. They made him comfortable. And he made it as a way of living. He started raising the dead. Everyone that just died, they rushed to Saru. And Nikulako, they started calling him Anikulako. Wake this person, wake this person. And when he wakes the person, they give him a lot of gifts, gifts of food, gifts of treasures. He became really wealthy. Of course, with wealth, a lot of men misbehave. I'm not saying everybody, but started misbehaving. He impregnated the housemaid. Aralake forgave him. Of course, Aralake forgave him because she knew she could not have a child. She was betrayed. She felt pain. But Saro did not stop at that. He married another wife, making three wives. Then he neglected Aralake, Aralake who used to be the king's favorite queen, Aralake who was worshipped by the king. The rivalry she was running away from the first king, she had it in Saru's house. Saru became really famous, but then Saru went too far. When the king's son died, Saru told the king, I will only raise your son if you give me your daughter as my fourth wife. The king was raging. What? My daughter, has... after so much de deliberation, the king agreed. But before the king agreed, the rumor went round that ah, um, Anikulapo said that he's going to marry the king's daughter as the fourth wife to raise the boy. The news got to Arolake. Raging. Not only was she neglected, she had given this guy a power to live again. And then he betrayed her. And then he neglected her. The other women in the house were always insulting her. Now was the time for her to leave. And she who made the man who he was destroyed him. She took the power with her. She emptied the little calabash that had the power. She emptied it. And when the king agreed, they called for Saru. Saru raised this boy up. And Saru even started becoming very majestic. He even for, showed a form of power. Yes. He, he carried it. Wake up. The boy did not wake. Saru wondered what happened. That's never happened before in the history of Saru. Saru tried again. Wake up. The boy did not wake. Saru, wake up. And then Saru realized that Aralake who made him had crushed him. Hmm. That story has a lot of lessons. Storyline is powerful. It is deep. Some people call it the Game of Thrones of Africa. Eh, eh. 
Some people call it the game of thrones of Africa. Don't neglect that woman who has stood by you. Now, when I think about the movie, I think the costuming was wonderful. I give a thumbs up to Kuli Afolayon, who has done a powerful job in, you know, I was looking for if they will make a single mistake in their hearing, a single mistake in their earrings, in their slippers, let me just see a modern eye on inside. No, they made everything really local. The calabash and everything. Kulia Falayan went as far as bringing Hakim Kaye Kazim, a Hollywood actor. Like not just, like not a little actor, like not a little actor, a real Hollywood actor to come and act. That was really, really powerful of him to do. And he also gave respect to the veteran Yoruba actors who were the king makers, the king advisors that were sitting there. That is really, really humbling and good. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. And in the storyline, a lot of you are condemning this movie. Though in Africa, we believe betrayal is normal for men to do, of which I don't agree. Everything is a sacrifice. As a human being, with humanity in you, you should know who stood by you and never neglect that person. It is very important, not just your wife, but people who have helped you in the past. Remember them today. Reach out to them. Never neglect them. So I think the movie was great. The costuming was wonderful. Really, really wonderful. I totally loved it. I totally enjoyed it. And of course, Bimbo Ademoye was my favorite actress in all of that movie. She performed perfectly well. Her facial expression, like that lady is really talented. Over to the website where I download binge-worthy Netflix movies, whether Nigerian or Hollywood, as soon as they are released. Before we do that, let's hit the subscribe button and give me a like. The next five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you do it? Wow, yeah, thank you. So the website is seriesloaded.ng.com. A lot of pop-up ads will come but when you search for the movie you want and it shows it, you see it in a list, what I advise doing is to open on new tab. Then I'll continue on the same tab. Just click open on new tab. And then you go and check the new tab. It will open the page because of the pop-up and adverts. I don't know, most movie websites have that issue. A lot of pop-ups coming up. But what I usually do, I don't just click on the movie to download. What I do, I I click it down and I say open on new tab and when I click on open on new tab I just switch over to the new tab because the current tab I am will already bring a pop-up like one expert so I just switch over to the new tab and I see the instruction there click on download link they usually have three to four download links if, if one doesn't work the other will work let me know if you like this kind of content and let me know the kind of movie or events or show you want me to react to next and yes, if you've hit the subscribe button, make sure you turn on notifications so it notifies you when I upload my next video. I'll see you in my next video. And bye.